Quarantine free travel for vaccinated passengers ferrying to Singapore from Batam and Bintan Islands began Friday with modest numbers. It's a slow start to a route that once saw thousands of travellers a day. Leong Tiaryu reports. Taking a dip in these clear blue waters and walking on pristine white sand. Such a quick getaway to nearby Batam and Bintan was a common trip for many in Singapore before the pandemic. After a two-year hiatus, it's once again possible to book quarantine-free round trips. If you go Bintan, it is sun, sea and sand. I think it's a good experience after two whole years of not being able to get out of Singapore and finally get a chop on the passport again. I already booked the, the VTL Air before that. Uh, supposed to be yesterday. But then uh, I heard the news that uh, VTL by sea uh, is about to launch. So I, I get the ticket. While passengers to these Indonesian islands could previously travel by sea without being quarantined, travellers to Singapore can now too arrive without the need to do so. That's as long as they're fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and test negative before departure. On the first day of the vaccinated travel lane via sea between Singapore and Indonesia's Batam and Bintan Islands, there's only one VTL ferry coming in from Batam to Singapore. All travellers must take two COVID-19 tests, a pre-departure test two days before and a supervised ART within 24 hours of arrival. While these passengers jumped at the chance, arrival numbers were lower than expected. On the CVTL's first day of operation, ferry operator Batam Fast says only 55 people entered Singapore from Batam. The initial booking about 90, and then uh, this morning I noticed that the figure is about 75, but the actual departure is about 55. So uh, along the line, we received call from passenger because they have difficulty getting the VTP uh, in time. And also some uh, passenger also call me and say that one of their kids are not feeling well and I advise them not to travel. Bintan Resort Ferry says only 30 people bought tickets on the first ferry due in Saturday morning. But operators say it's a decent start. Now that it's uh, open, I think we're beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I think this is a good, good for all the ferry operators. For now, there's a weekly quota of 350 travellers allowed from Batam and Bintan each on the sea lane. This is part of Singapore's plans to cautiously reopen and reconnect as it recovers.